for the resumption of proceedings of this special sitting. I believe that you have now had opportunity to go through the report of the Special Committee on the proposed removal from office by impeachment of the Governor of Kirinyaga County. As you may have noticed, the committee has found all the allegations against the Governor not to have been substantiated. <laughs> Consequently, Honorable Senators, the procedure to be followed in this case is that is set out at Section 336A of the County Government Act and Standing Order Number 754A both of which provide as follows. If the special committee reports that the particulars of any allegation against the governor have not been substantiated, further proceedings shall not be taken under this section in respect of that allegation. Honorable Senators, that being the case, this matter stands concluded and no further proceedings shall be taken thereof. However, pursuant to standing order number one, and cognizant that consideration of the proposed removal from office of a governor by impeachment is one of the most important functions of the Senate under, this, under the Constitution, I shall allow the chairperson of the special committee to make brief remarks on the process undertaken by the committee and in particular any recommendations the committee would wish to make. The chairperson will have not more than 15 minutes. Thereafter, I shall allow senators to make general comments and observations thereon for not more than 30 minutes, after which the Senate shall adjourn. I thank you. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this is a very interesting day. Ironically, Mr. Speaker, what's your point of order? And when you want your point of order, just use the button, because I can see from you. Okay, Mazayo. Okay, Senator Mazayo. Mr. Speaker, uh, thank you very much for uh, Make, allowing me to interrupt my brother. Uh, the point is, I was one of the participants in this uh, committee, and uh, I know how detailed that report is. I think 15 minutes may be a little bit short for purposes of uh, ex expounding on how certain decisions have been arrived at. If at all, I'm, Mr. Speaker, I think uh, my, my, my learned colleague uh, uh, is uh, very much aware about uh, point of orders. What I'm trying to suggest here is if we can be given at least half an hour, then I believe he will be in a position to put a little bit of some meat of each and every decision that was arrived at. And it's good for the country because the country at this moment is watching. Oh, well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. In fact, there were 10 minutes. I added five to make it 15, because you'll have an opportunity to read the report, which is, which is already done. So, okay, Chair, proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm well guided. I will try within my ability to utilize the 15 minutes. Where need be, I will come back to your Honorable Chair and ask for extension of time. Otherwise, I thank you for this opportunity, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this is a very interesting day. Mr. Speaker, as I was presiding over the proposed impeachment of Governor Ann Waiguru, some funny people were hiding in some cocoon planning to remove me order, Senator as Senator for Kakanika, order, 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 Senator. It is quite order, No, 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 order. order. Can Mr. you Speaker. use your time properly? Thank you. You are now dragging the House into your party issues, and we are not party to that. Please focus on your Thank report. you. I want to remind the people that I am the Senator for Kakamega that I'll stay to be the Senator for Kakamega. 
Mr. Speaker, sir, permit me to begin by remarks con conveying on behalf of Honorable Senators of the Special Committee on the pro proposed removal from office of the Governor for Kirinyaga County, our appreciation and gratitude to you and this Honorable House for the confidence you expressed in us to undertake the honors task by appointing us to serve in this special committee. Mr. Speaker, pass on to section 33.3b of the County Government Act of 2012 and standing order number 75.1b of the Senate. The Senate may, by resolution, appoint a special committee comprising 11 of its members to investigate the matter or investigate the matter in plenary. Mr. Speaker, the Senate Majority Leader moved a motion on Tuesday, 16th June 2020, and, the following, and following the debate in the House, the Senate resolved to establish a special committee comprising of Senator Abshiro Alake, Senator Michael Mbito, Senator Mwangi Paul Gidiomi, Senator Beth Mugo, Senator Anwar Loitiptip, Senator Philip Mpayai, Senator Cleophas Malala, Senator Beatrice Kwamboka, Senator Stuart Mazayo, Senator Judith Pareno, and Senator Moses Kajuang. To investigate the proposed removal from office by impeachment of the governor of Kirinyaga County and to report to the Senate within 10 days, pass on to standing over 75 to of its uh, appointment on whether it finds the particulars of the allegations to have been substantiated or not. Mr. Speaker, following its establishment, the Senate committee held its first meeting on Wednesday 17th, 2020, passed one to Standing Order 193 and Rule 3A of Part 2 of the fifth schedule of the Senate Standing Orders. The clerk of the Senate conducted the election for position of chairperson and vice chairperson. Mr. Speaker, I wish to um, report that the committee elected the Kakamega Senator, <laughs> the one Senator Cleophas Wahungu Malala as the chairperson, and Senator Abshiro Halaki, MP, as the vice chair. Mr. Speaker, sir, Section 33.5 of the County Government Act Standing Order 75.3 and, and Rule 4A of Part 2 of the Fifth Schedule of the Senate Standing Orders provide that the Governor shall have the right to appear and be represented before the Special Committee during investigation. Rule 4B of Part 2 of the Fifth Schedule to the Senate Standing Orders further accord the County Assembly the right to appear and be represented before the special committee. Mr. Speaker, the committee commenced its hearing on Wednesday 24th, 2020, by convening a conference of parties where formal introductions of parties, recital of the mandate, and the committee uh, adoption of the hearing program took place. Mr. Speaker, among the preliminary issues that the committee had to deliberate and make a decision on was a letter, Mr. Speaker, referenced uh, let, uh, Senate Letter 1, stroke 003, dated 20th June 2020, from the Speaker of the County Assembly of Kirinyaga, requesting the special committee to summon Mr. Patrick Mugo, the Chief Officer, Finance and Economic Planning, Mr. Kennedy Ngiabi, the Chairperson, County Public Service Board, and Mr. Joseph Otieno Carilas the Director, Supply Chain Management. The County Assembly stated in its letter that the said officer had refused, neglected, or otherwise been unable to give their statements and produce documents requested by the County Assembly. The committee deliberated on the matter and passed on to Rule 9 of Part 2 of uh, the fifth schedule of the Senate Standing Orders issued invitation to appear as witnesses. The invitation to appear was served on the witnesses on the same day. 
Mr. Speaker, the county assembly was represented by Mr. Ndegwa Njiru and Mr. Charles Mwangi Ndegwa, and the governor was represented by Mr. Paul Nyamodi, advocate, Mr. Kamotho Waiganjo, advocate, and Andrew Muchiri Karani, What's advocate, to appear on behalf of the governor. During the... Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Of order. Mm. Mr. Speaker, I, I didn't mean to interrupt uh, Senator Malala, uh, but to start with, Mr. Speaker, is, is, uh, is making comments pass one to your generosity and uh, on application of standing order number one. Ordinarily, we would not have gone this direction. The matter would have ended and we go home. And since he's doing so, you say that the, because of the importance of the impeachment of governor, I, I would suggest, Mr. Speaker, with your direction, that Senator Malala forgets about all this introduction, about who is a member of the committee, when did it start, who are the lawyers, who are the parties, and then go to the substratum, Mr. Speaker, the real issues that happen, so that then we can apply this short time, this window you've created, for purpose of the salient issues. Otherwise, his time will be wasted on things that we know. We know there is a governor, there was an MCA, there were lawyers, there was hearing, there was hard Let him just go to, this is the things the committee were ch faced as challenges, and they ended up making this recommendation because of this. That way, we'll use this time more quality than, 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 than the recitals he's making. The rest we can read for ourselves. Okay, Senator Malala.